Alrighty y'all, my name is Tobin, I run Grace Roots Homestead, welcome to the channel. The first thing I gotta do is check on the cow and the sheep. They're looking good, they got enough water for today, and they still have some grass up there in their paddock. One advantage I found of rotationally grazing the cow and the sheep is they really eat a lot of the grass, and we haven't had to feed them any hay for a long time. Even though the grass isn't looking the greatest, um, they've really been pretty self-sufficient with their food needs. Here, once it gets a little colder, I'll need to start feeding some hay, but it's really nice being able to raise them for almost free. The next thing I gotta check on is the Polish chickens. They're looking good. They got food in their feeder, and it's hard to see, but back there in their waterer, they have water. And then over here at the meat bird, let me get it focused on there. It looks like it has feed, but let me check its water. Hello, meat bird. All right, it still has water in the thing and a bunch of feed, so it looks good for today. The other thing you might be thinking is, why aren't you moving these birds? Well, it's getting colder, so we don't have a lot of grass for them. But, also, because it's just one chicken in this chicken tractor, which has, in total, 60 square feet, and two chickens in this chicken tractor, which has, like, uh, let me see, you're not supposed to do math in public. It's 8 foot by 4 foot. So the square footage would be 32 square feet, I think. Um, so they have enough grass also. So we move them every few days. All right, as you can see over here by the garden area, there is a bunch of leftover rotten tomatoes. And now this isn't an ideal situation. It's too cold to grow tomatoes anyway. I'm gonna try to pick some of these and feed them to the pigs. All right, we checked on the cow and the sheep. We checked on those chickens. Then we moved down there to the garden area to pick the tomatoes. And then we fed the tomatoes to the pigs. Now I need to move down to the front of the house to check on the egg layers. All right, I'm gonna check their feed. All right, they're almost out of feed, but they'll have enough for today and then I'll probably feed them tomorrow. And then they have enough water down there in their tray. And the chickens are still molting, but let's check if we have any eggs. Come on, chicken. Get off of there. All right, looks like we have four eggs, so I'll carry those into the house. All right, when I put the eggs in the fridge, then I realized we have some old carrots that aren't the greatest anymore. So I'm just going to toss those to the pigs just for fun. There you go, pigs. Good girl, take that. Good girl. All right, and that pretty much ends all my regular animal chores. Now I have a little bit of time. I'm gonna head up to the rabbit hutch and see if I can get anything done up there. If you watched some of our previous videos, you saw that in the first video, I got the basic framing, the wood part done, and the next one I put on the floor the wire floor, and today I guess I'll start working on the walls. I'm going to start by putting this piece of plywood I have here on the back of the hutch.
All right, I got the piece of plywood attached to the back of the rabbit hook. All right, so I put the bottom plywood on, and then I put a board up there at the top. And then I'm going to take some of this wire and put it in like that, and that will complete the back wall. All right, I got one piece on, and I got one to go. All right, everybody, we got almost the whole back wall done. We got the wire on, except for this one little section right there that I need to do. But I am getting called in for school, so I'm going to end the video there. Thanks for watching, and God bless.